Thanks so much for watching AM Northwest. You know, kids often enjoy drawing and painting, but wait until you see what 10 year old Elena Grace Orwick of Portland can do. She is a talented artist who wants to share the joy of painting with kids around the world. speaks volumes. There's something about the color, the texture, the feelings. Purple's more calm and kind of sleepy maybe, or maybe even like moody kind of, and the, then like the yellows and the peach and the pink are like bright, happy, and loud. And their creator speaks volumes too, about being a 10-year-old with an expressive talent. I like how free it is, how you can draw or paint whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Portland's own Elena Grace Orwick is a fifth grader who's been into art for as long as she can remember. I kind of want to leave it a little bit um, unmixed a little bit. I like to paint because it's a more fun, more free way to communicate to the people around me. What I'm thinking, my feelings. While Elena is like any typical 10-year-old, she loves to get dirty, play soccer, and hang out with her friends. She's also atypical. Her works have been sold in multiple galleries and even by commission. Elena's style is constantly evolving. She's into abstracts at the moment. I like how it feels, how you can make it feel whatever you want. You can make it feel happy or sad or you, maybe you can smell something and paint what you smell or you can hear something and paint what you hear. When the mood strikes her, she might add a third dimension to her creations, like a butterfly, a rock, or even a key. Then there are images that are just plain adorable. I just like how cute it is, and um, when I doodle mostly, I doodle a lot. Um, I make it really cute stuff with big eyes and the white dots, which always make it cuter. <laughs> Mom Gabby is hanging on to her favorite Elena creation. It has the cute, adorable soft owl. It has a real thoughtful look on an image that she had played with and um, I think changed the hair, makeup, color multiple times. Um, and again, she was able to stop. She put a couple stars and called it done. Um, so it made me very proud to see that evolution. I think it's, uh, it's a keeper. Putting color to canvas is a family affair in the Oric home. It's a skill she shares with her father, Michael. They can often be found painting together in their cramped second floor studio. He prefers oils, she's all about acrylics. While her accomplished dad makes his living creating incredible landscapes, he's hesitant to push or critique his daughter. I definitely want this to be her thing and that's what's so great is that she's coming out of it doing these abstract paintings and definitely coming away with her own voice that's actually probably been more inspirational to me than vice versa. Um, I learned so much from her freedom and creativity and the way she's interpreting everything. The landscape he's working on now is from a photo Elena snapped. It's just so neat for me to just look at what's inspiring her because it may not be the obvious big sunrise that I'm taking photos of or even the fog or whatever it is. For her it can be so much more. About I think the little flowers with the dew drops and the, um, the frost on them through the sunlight and things like that. Painting time is also daddy-daughter bonding time. You can tell what kind of a day she's had by the paintings that she's making and um, yeah so I think they're you know I'm lucky that I get to spend this time with her but I also am lucky that I do get that insight as well. She allows me to kind of get in there. It's a whole different way of communicating isn't it? Absolutely. Gabby loves overhearing her husband and daughter connecting. It's a very blissful feeling. Uh, I think we're very, very lucky that they share that passion, um, that they both feel very strongly about their styles and their colors. And I love hearing the chatter up here and how they exchange ideas. I think Elena's really pushed Mike to um, increase his pinks. Elena's an artist with a big heart. She sells many of her works to help fund a variety of charities, such as Children's Healing Art Project, Wildlife Rescue, Elena loves out and now a program she calls Studio Everywhere. The Orwick family will travel around the world for nine months, taking art supplies to orphanages, schools, and community centers, asking kids to paint how they see themselves in the world. We did this in Greece and Bulgaria, where um, in Greece we did it on the beach. So some kids drew themselves at the, at the beach, some kids just drew whatever they wanted. 
I know there's some kids that did like zombies and race cars and soccer players and they, a couple kids did themselves as soccer players like what they wanted to do when they grew up or how they saw themselves. And while Elena enjoys sharing her big talents with the world, she clearly loves just sharing a small space with her dad. Yeah, she loves it. And I mean, we're just like two kids in a candy store just running around watching the sunrise. That's what I said. Oh. <laughs> It's all about expressing herself with her art. Elaine is amazing, isn't she? If you'd like to find out more about Studio Everywhere, we're going to have a link on our website at k2.com.